As part of the National Sustainable Strawberry Initiative, the Rutgers University team's efforts have resulted in the release of a new strawberry variety and renewed interest in strawberries by farmers and consumers. Throughout the project, the team has worked diligently to keep developed strawberry varieties healthy in the laboratory, greenhouse, and farm fields. Plants are cycled into tissue culture to preserve new genetic lines that are free of viruses and other disease problems. The project has led to the release of a new strawberry variety called Rutgers Scarlet. A cooperative agreement with Norse Farms, a commercial nursery, has enabled the production and distribution of over 100,000 plants to growers throughout the U.S. in 22 states. Another propagator, Cube Pack Incorporated in Allentown, New Jersey, will produce and sell plug plants of Rutgers Scarlet in the fall of 2015 to growers in New Jersey and neighboring states. Our release of Rutgers Scarlet has caused quite a stir, attracting press from across the media landscape, including CBS Television News in New York and Philadelphia, as well as the New York Times, Philadelphia Inquirer, Star Ledger, and National Public Radio, who all ran stories on the Rutgers Scarlet Strawberry. As a result of the media attention, local farmers have been bombarded by inquiries about strawberries, and Rutgers colleagues are receiving many requests from farmers to grow these new strawberries. Hi, I'm Michelle Cassell. I'm the agricultural agent here in Gloucester County. That's Welcome why. to the southern part of New Jersey. We're working with vegetable growers who also grow strawberries. It's because the same kind of culture as growing other crops like tomatoes and peppers. More importantly, most of our retail farmers are growing strawberries for pick your own, as well as for retail sales in their farm market. Why? Because people want to know more and more where their local foods come from. And what a better product than to have local strawberries. Agritourism is a big part of the community here in southern New Jersey as well as elsewhere, where people come out and enjoy the day with their families picking strawberries. Plus, with all the new press that we've had about the Rutgers Scarlet Strawberry, people are calling the farms that we have research trials out to see if they have them available. In small quantities, yes, but definitely next year we'll have quite a bit more because of the popularity and just the sheer awesome flavor of the Scarlet Strawberry. NSSI funding has allowed us to hire Rutgers University students to assist our strawberry team and the farm community, enabling them to gain valuable experience for their future agricultural careers. As a result of their work with the NSSI project, several students have decided to make plant science the focus of their undergraduate studies, and some have even decided to proceed to graduate studies in the field. Um, I'm an agriculture and food systems major here at Rutgers. So being a part of this project, really, I've been able to work in the greenhouse, I've been able to work in the field, I've gotten to meet some of the local farmers around here and kind of just see how they work, how their operations go. In the future, when I'm out of school, it's going to be really exciting to see how these strawberries work on the market. So having a specific product that's formulated pretty much just for the direct sale farmer is going to be really great to see how it's going to draw more people out to the farm because they can get something that they can't just buy at a grocery store. Hi, I'm Angela Monahan. I'm a student here at Rutgers. I'm an agriculture major. I'm working here in the greenhouse with the strawberries because I've had previous greenhouse experience. Transferring into Rutgers, I was really excited to get into the greenhouse and do more research on plants in general. And then I found out about the strawberry project and became really excited because they're doing a lot of breeding with strawberries and I think that's really important uh, for the production of food in the future. These strawberries are bred for disease resistant, higher yield, better berries, and in the long run, better for consumers because they get a better tasting berry. My name is Steven Yakubiets. I'm a Rutgers School Environmental and Biological Sciences senior, and I was drawn to the st strawberry project because it allows me to take data both in the field and collect data in the lab, which can further my studies uh, at a research university like Rutgers. I've been a part of the project for about two years now, and in these two years I've learned uh, a vast quantity of information about genetics, uh, plant science, and I found that that is truly uh, what I would like to pursue a career in. The Strawberry Project has allowed me to gain hands-on experience in the production of food. It has allowed me to see the science behind agriculture, but also it has provided me with a method of potentially fusing the disciplines of food science and plant science into a potential career in which I can benefit myself and the local community. We continue to get positive feedback from growers all across the region. Farmers and their customers love the new strawberry lines and are asking for more. I've been growing strawberries probably 35, 40 years. My family's been growing them probably 
twice as long as that. And um, wow. I was interested. I mean, we've been growing them. I'd like to find something better. The old uh, industry standard was kind of like Chandler. Grows nice, has some nice characteristics, but really doesn't eat very well. Dr. J was retiring, so before um, he was going to uh, lose all his plant material. Obviously, what Dr. J developed was from the eastern varieties. You know, it, it's like a kid in a candy store. If you go in and you really like something, you're going to come back, So, which is good for me because people come back and pick more strawberry. Twilight meetings have provided an opportunity for Extension to talk to many farmers directly about new cultivars and share information on growing better, more flavorful strawberries. We're here at Grasso Farms for a Twilight meeting. And the Twilight meeting really is to give growers a chance to come out and taste test all the different varieties that we've been testing and see whether or not they like them, uh, they like the flavor of the berry and the characteristics of the plant. So we're going to be walking through the fields with the growers. We're going to actually do an uh, informal taste test with them to see how they like our new Rutgers varieties compared to what they typically grow down in this area. Matt Duffield, Duffield's Farm, Sewell, New Jersey. We grow approximately 10 acres of strawberries and about 30, 350 acres of fruits and vegetables. And all our strawberries are direct marketed. Pick your own is great. It gets the people out to the farm early. It's not how it used to be. People used to come and pick flats. Now it's just a experience. But it's still good to get the people out on the farm seeing what we do. And I think it's great that Rutgers are taking the time to put out a strawberry for flavor and not just looks for the local growers. Hello, I'm Mary Lynn Grasso and um, I run Grasso Girls Farm Market. Um, I'm a third generation farmer. This is my daughter Erica. She decided to remain on the farm. Um, we have a farm market and um, when Rutgers approached us about putting in a trial plot of um, strawberries, we were more than happy to jump at the opportunity. That was in September, so jump forward to this year these berries are ready and, and um, we did a taste testing and they were amazing. <laughs> there was so much press that people were coming wanting these strawberries. Yeah. We tried to tell them it was just a final <laughs> plot, you know, we'll try to have more next year. But anyway, it was just such a positive experience. It generated so much for our stand. Well, we had people that came from like an hour and a half away. They came here to try these scarlet strawberries. Um, I actually had an 85 year old go out there and pick strawberries because I told him I didn't have any in here. So he went out and picked like six quarts for himself and he was so happy. Rutgers strawberries have kept us so busy on the farm. We we woke up at 3 a.m. this morning. So That's I apologize we like this. Yeah, for looking this terrible. We don't normally look this bad. <laughs> Several farmers have asked whether the new varieties might require less fertilizer than commercial standards. This prompted our on-farm studies of the nutrient needs of strawberries. We are utilizing new technology in the XRF meter to analyze soils, leaves, and fruit, obtaining a clear picture of nutrient content and the nutritional needs of each strawberry variety. We would like to thank the Walmart Foundation for funding the National Sustainable Strawberry Initiative, which was administered by an outstanding team at the University of Arkansas. We are also grateful for the efforts of Dr. Gojo Jelenkovic at Rutgers University, whose research was the foundation of this project. Dr. Jelenkovic focused on the initial plant breeding aspects of the project. Whoever does breeding work, they do for the goods of people. There was a program in the experiment station for fruit improvements and strawberry was one of them. We used to do crosses but produce 100 seedlings, 150 seedlings. When we got serious about the breeding, one year we produce over 10,000 seedlings. That's what really uh, requires. We made good selections. It took us a number of years because of the nature of the strawberry species. They are uh, uh, high polyploid octoploid and they have many genes. In polyploid species you can breed for a, a particular character and you can get only it takes time and requires a lot of help to uh, make breeding, to produce seedlings, to transplant thousands of seedlings requires time and effort. We put emphasis on eating quality of the strawberries. The selection that they are testing now, they have fruit of better eating quality. That's the 
primary objective. It's very expensive, but this is why now in America we have fruits that you can select. I'm proud of whatever I have done at Rutgers. I think we should more know about the food from where it's coming. Professors Bill Lubick and Peter Nietzsche led the greenhouse and field research as well as the on-farm field trials. Our team included other Rutgers colleagues and local farmers who helped select the newly developed Rutgers strawberry varieties. These varieties are now being grown and distributed throughout the region. Thank you, Walmart Foundation, for making the NSSI initiative possible. Thanks to NSSI funding, there's a renewed interest and excitement about growing strawberries in our region.